Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Bhartusa exam as I have been getting a very good feedback from you guys so that's why I am planning to upload more videos on Bhartusa top 5 coding questions, Bhartusa questions soon. Hello my dear family members, I hope all of you are preparing well for your upcoming Bhartusa exam as I have been getting a very good experience, very good feedback from you guys so that's why I am uploading this video again and if I keep getting good feedback from you then I will keep uploading Bhartusa content and last day you have guys asked me that if there will be logical questions or not if there will be analy analytical questions will, uh, will be there or not so the answer is uh, please wait for the official information from official mail from the Bartusa and let's uh, just go with that okay because last year what happened they only asked the technical questions technical mcq 40 and coding questions okay so only these questions were asked and some in some campuses they have asked logical questions as well logical or analytical questions as well so please be prepared accordingly most of the time they ask technical and coding questions okay so don't be feared and logical and uh, analytical questions will be less chances okay so let me share the Bhartusa top 5 coding questions uh, but before that guys please do subscribe this channel so that I'll be motivated to make more content for you only okay okay so let me go to the next uh, thing that is the question so the first question which is being shown in your screen that is longest palindromic subsequence I hope you know what subsequence so uh, okay the question is find the length of the longest palindromic subsequence in a given string so if the string is this then what will be the longest possible subsequence longest palindromic subsequence so if you know let's say this is the string right a b so in this case substrings uh, which have no gap in between okay in which you cannot skip any character but in case of subsequence you can skip one character okay so that's why in this case subsequence can be b b b b b b b b b a also b b b b okay so and there can be uh, any other subsequences as well but in case of substring you cannot take this one okay i hope you understood what's the difference between subsequence and substring so if i get subsequences then this will be the largest subsequence uh, or longest subsequence which can be a palindrome okay palindrome means which is same from the front side and which is same from the uh, like back side okay i mean from the right side i hope you know okay so b b b this is can this can be also a palindrome but it is not longest okay so this is the longest so that's why output is four that means four is the length of the string so that's why four is the output okay i hope you understood now let me go to the next question the next question is this minimum window substring so question is given two string s and t find the smallest substring in s that contains all characters of t and be very much mindful that i have been sharing only the advanced questions okay that means uh, there will be two questions right one will be uh, basic questions second one will be advanced questions or the second questions will contain some error you have to fix that okay probably that will be automata fix question okay now if you get advanced question for that purpose only i have been uh, like uploading this video because this is containing only the advanced questions which was asked earlier okay so now let me show the sample input that is this and t is this why output is banc because you have to check if this string is being contained in s or not yes so a b and c this can be a substring a d o b e c this can be a substring in which all t characters are present a b c are present inside this substring also a b c is present inside b a n c this substring so why you should take this because it is told minimum window substring so that's why we have to return this substring okay so i hope you understood let me go to the next question guys if you want the answers of all the advanced top five coding questions then please visit topme.io slash techno underscore uf there we have included all the recent questions with answers all the previous year questions all the mock test and technical questions interview preparations everything you need to crack the 
Bartusa exam. Okay, and I know how stressful placements can be the rejections, the pressure to perform, the fear of missing out any opportunities. And very honestly, I have been there in your positions too. And that's why, uh, that's exactly why I created these materials at very affordable price so that you can grab the opportunity and you can get what you deserve, right? So please visit topmentor.io slash tiktonsko web there you can get all the materials and many materials you can find in uh, internet that is more than this cost like 199 or more than that. So you can uh, choose wisely, okay? So the next question is this uh, word break problem given a string and a dictionary of words determine if the string can be segmented into space separated dictionary words or not. So sample input is this shown in your screen apple pen apple word dictionary is this apple and pen. You have to check if you have to check if the string can be segmented into space separated strings uh, space separated dictionary words or not yes it can be so that's why output is true as you can see apple and pen are there so apple and if you just uh, separate this apple with pen then you can form apple and pen okay so that's why the output is true uh, so you have to use dynamic programming in this case so that you can solve the problem okay and you have to know dynamic programming very honestly because most of the companies are asking dynamic programming questions in this days okay so the next question is this find if anagrams or not so you have to find a string is anagram or not so what is the anagram that is let's say uh, this is the sample input right and this is this is the also sample input you have to check if you can uh, form madam with these characters or not with this character I can do M A D A M. We can exactly uh, form this uh, string with this. Okay, so that's why they are anagram to each other. Okay, so that's why the answer is yes. So I hope you want to. Let's say there is another character I. So it is not an anagram. Okay, there should be exactly that character uh, which is present here. Okay, not more than that, not less than that. I hope you want to so let me go to the next question so guys please do subscribe this channel so that i'll be making more content for you only okay i hope you will do so okay so the next question is this count of smaller numbers after self uh-huh for each element in an array count how many numbers to its right are smaller than it if five is the first element and in like it's a right is this side right so two and one are smaller than five so that's why two is the count and for this element only one element is smaller than two so that's why one is the output here now for six only one element is uh, smaller so that's why one is the output here and for one there is no nothing inside like it's right so that's why zero is the output so i hope you understood how to like what's the problem and what's asked okay guys if you can solve the problem then it is very okay if you cannot then please do visit topmentorize slash technology web there you can find all the solutions and just believe me from our materials using our youtube channel videos 5000 students got selected last year and you can also do the same okay so i hope you will consider this any of this and also you can see we have plan lord 10 percent discounts are there so please visit there 25 top mnc's questions are there so if you can have it then have it it will be very much useful for your upcoming drives thank you